In this video, we will discuss the six Grand Masters of the Grand Lodge of Missouri that were from Adair County. My name is Kirby R. Cundiff. I have a PhD from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm a chartered financial analyst, a certified financial planner, an adjunct professor, and a portfolio advisor and retirement strategist. I am also a relatively new Master Mason. This presentation was given at the Basonic Temple in Kirksville, Missouri on August 15th of 2021. Freemasonry in Adair County, Missouri dates back prior to the American Civil War with the first lodge, Kirksville Lodge No. 128 of ancient free and accepted Masons chartered in May of 1850. Following the war, a large number of various Masonic lodges and affiliated organizations flourished within the county, and at its height, the combined membership countywide totaled over 3,000 members. There proved a need and a great desire for one central meeting point large enough for all activities, instead of the scattered rental facilities then in use. So in 1919, the Masonic Temple Association was formed, a building site chosen, and fundraising efforts began. Two wealthy local osteopathic physicians, Drs. George M. Laughlin and Harry M. Still, both Masons, provided the bulk of the financing for the project, with the issuing of bonds covering the rest. Construction was done at a very rapid pace, with completion and dedication in December of 1930 at a final cost at under $70,000. In the early 1940s, the Kirksville Masonic Temple was visited by future U.S. President Harry S. Truman, at the time, Truman was Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of Missouri, ancient free and accepted Masons, while also a United States Senator from the Show Me State. The first of the past Grand Masters we will look at is Most Worshipful Brother Edward Higby, who was Grand Master of the State of Missouri from 1916 to 1917 and lived from 1847 to 1929. Edward Higby was born January 1st, 1847 in Ashland, Ohio. His family moved to Iowa in 1849 and soon after moved to Schuyler County, Missouri. He attended the common schools in Johnson County, Iowa and also Iowa State University Edward began teaching during the winter when only 16 years old. He worked on his father's farm during the summertime. Edward read law at home and in 1866 began working in the law office of General James B. Weaver in Bloomfield, Iowa. He was admitted to the bar in 1867. Edward practiced law in Lancaster, Missouri until 1905 and then moved to Kirksville, Missouri. He married Mary Isabel Burney in 1867, and they had seven children. He was a member of the Kirksville Christian Church. In 1898 and again in 1902, Judge Higby was the Republican nominee for Judge of the Supreme Court and also twice received the Republican nomination for Circuit Judge, but in these cases he was defeated by the Democratic opponent. While residing in Schuyler County in 1894, Judge Higby was elected representative of that county in spite of the fact the county at the time had a normal Democratic majority of about 300. And Higby was a Republican. He served one term. Grand Master Higby was made a Freemason in Lodge of Love, Lodge Number 259 in Lancaster, Missouri. He was initiated in 1868, passed and raised in 1869, he was elected senior warden in 1870, master in 1871, 74, 75, 83, 84, 85, 93, and 1901. After moving to Kirksville, he was affiliated with Kirksville Lodge No. 105. He was appointed Grand Marshal in 1909, Grand Senior Deacon in 1913, and was elected Grand Senior Warden in 1914 and Grand Master in 1916. It is interesting that both the first and last past Grand Masters on our list were attorneys.
the next past grandmaster on our list is most worshipful brother Willis Joseph Bray, who was grandmaster from 1944 to 1946 and lived from 1884 to 1961. Willis Joseph Bray was professor of chemistry at Northeast Missouri State Teachers College, now known as Truman State University, from 1912 until 1952. He joined the faculty as head of the chemistry department when Northeast was still the first district normal school and was named head of the Division of Science and Mathematics in 1925. While teaching at the college, he also served several terms as chemist and bacteriologist for the city of Kirksville. He stepped down as division head for health reasons in 1945, but continued teaching until June of 1952. A first lieutenant in the U.S. Army Ordnance Reserve Corps, Bray called to active duty in Washington, D.C. during World War I. He returned to the reserves after the war, transferred from the infantry to chemical warfare service in 1926, and arisen in rank to major when recalled to active duty in 1942. A heart problem necessitated his medical retirement from the military in March of 1944. Dr. Bray was very active in the Masonic Orders and attended the offices of Grand High Priest of the Royal Archmasons in 1934 and Grass Master of the Grand Lodge of Missouri in 45 and 46. He edited several editions of the Transactions of the Missouri Lodge of Research and authored many Masonic articles and booklets. Pickler Library houses a collection of 60 articles addresses and essays a gift of his son Willis J. Bray Jr. and it contains a mix of rough drafts, more finished typescripts, and published versions, mostly photocopies of Dr. Bray's works. The next past Grandmaster we will look at is Most Worshipful Brother Bruce Harmon Hunt. He was Grandmaster from 1960 to 1961 and lived from 1913 to 1995. Grandmaster Hunt was born January 29, 1913 in Forest City, Missouri, the son of George Sherman and Laura Malise Dury Hunt. His maternal grandfather, Albert Harmon Dury, had served three times as Master of Joplin Lodge No. 355. Bruce received most of his education in the public schools of Kirksville, Missouri, but graduated from New Bloomfield High School in 1931 in New Bloomfield, Missouri. Bruce studied mechanical dentistry and became the owner of the Superior Dental Laboratory of Kirksville, which he operated from 1931 to 1945. He assisted with the formation of the State Dental Laboratory Association of Missouri. Bruce was married to Irene Spencer on December 26, 1936, and they had two children, Stephen Dennis and Suzanne, their home at 416 South Franklin was a haven for foreign students attending the State Teachers College, including the children of Masons from India and Mexico. Bruce Hunt brought national recognition to Missouri in every branch of Freemasonry, particularly the York Rite. Bruce was appointed to the Grand Lodge line by Grandmaster Ray Bond, a member of Lodge Number 335 in Joplin, Missouri. Our next past Grandmaster, Most Worshipful Brother Dale C. Motter, was Grandmaster in 1993 and 1994, and we were honored to have his presence during this live presentation in Kirksville, Missouri. Dale C. Motter was born July 14, 1933, the son of Samuel Willis and Blanche Eva Motter. He received his grade school education in an Adair County Rural School and graduated from Kirksville Senior High School in 1951. He married Mary Jane Doze and they have two sons, Brent Lee and Dale Lee. Both sons are Masons and Brent Lee is a past master of Adair Lodge number 366 and was also present for this presentation. In April 1953, 
Dale entered the armed services, serving in the Korean conflict in the 7th Infantry Division Medical Battalion for two years. Dale served as a parts manager from 1962 to 1983 at Sellers Implement Company. From 1983 to 1990, he was a partsman and salesman for Seidenstricker Truck and Tractor. Dale began his Masonic career in 1956. He served as Worshipful Master of Adair Lodge No. 366 in 1962, District Deputy Grand Master in 1976, and District Deputy Grand Lecturer for several years. Dale served as a member of the Grand Lodge Ritual Committee for several years and was appointed by Most Worshipful Brother P. Vincent Kincaid to the advancing line as Junior Grand Steward in 1986. He belongs to Caldwell Chapter, Royal Archmasons, Crooksville Council No. 44, Eli Commandery No. 22, Red Cross of Constantine, St. Chrysostom Conclave, and Crooksville Chapter No. 1984, Order of the Eastern Star. He is a member of the Marila Shrine Temple in St. Joseph, Elkader Shrine Club in Crooksville, and the Legion of Honor. He is affiliated with the United Methodist Church of Crooksville, Missouri. Our next PAX Grand Master is Most Worshipful Brother John B. Broyles, who is also present during this live presentation. John Blake Broyles was born February 29, 1960, in Kirksville, Missouri, where he attended school graduating from Kirksville R3 School District in 1978. He graduated from Northeast Missouri State University, now Truman State University, in 1982 with a B.S. in Mathematics and Computer Science. Most Worshipful Brother Boyle's Masonic career began with his initiation in Adair Lodge No. 366 Kirksville. He was initiated on October 9, 1990, passed on November 27, 1990, and raised on December 26, 1990. He held positions in the advancing line for four years and was senior warden when he relocated to St. Louis in 1995. He created the first Grand Lodge internet website and served as his webmaster from 1996 to 1999. He currently serves as the Grand Lodge's Grand Secretary. He is a member of the First Christian Church, Disciples of Christ in Kirksville. He has served the church as a deacon and parent in the LOGOS Youth Program. He again resides in Kirksville after living in Baldwin, St. Louis area for 18 years. He works in the information technology field, specializing in IT management and networking. Most Marshall Brother Broyles married Anna Spaulding of Kirksville in 1981. They have three daughters, Maria, who is married to Brother Sean Gottlieb and lives in Florescent, Missouri. Alexa, who is married to Brother Stephen Summit and lives in Gladstone, Missouri and Sarah, who is married to Chris Reck and lives in O'Fallon, Missouri. They are also the proud grandparents of four children with a fifth child expected in December of this year. The last past Grand Master on our list is the reason I'm given this presentation, my brother, Most Worshipful Brother, Barry V. Cundiff. Most Worshipful Brother, Barry Cundiff, was born in Kirksville, Missouri in 1961. He attended Truman State University, graduating in 1983 with degrees in history and economics. He subsequently attended law school at the University of Missouri in Columbia, graduating in 1986 and was nice enough to let me sleep on his couch while I was working for the Missouri University Research Reactor. He has been engaged in the practice of law since his graduation and in Kirksville since 1993. Most worshipful brother Cundiff married his wife Audrey in Jefferson City in 1992. They have one son Brody who was born in 2008. Most worshipful brother Cundiff's father and both grandfathers were members of Adair Lodge No. 366, as is his brother. His father and paternal grandfather were both masters 
of the Lodge. He was initiated, passed, and raised in 1983 and served as Worshipful Master in 1998 and again in 2001. Right Worshipful Brother Cundiff is a member of several Kirksville York Rite bodies and has served as High Priest of Caldwell Chapter No. 53, Illustrious Master of Kirksville Council No. 42, and Eminent Commander of the Lie Commandery No. 22. He is also a member of York Rite College No. 188, Heart of Missouri, Tipperany Council No. 62, Knight Masons, Lafayette Council AMD, and St. Chrysostom Conclave, Red Cross of Constantine. He is a 32-degree KCCH member of the Scottish Rite Valley of Columbia. Most Worshipful Brother Cundiff served as District Deputy Grand Master of the 3rd Masonic District from 2003 through 2007. He has served on and chaired the Appeals and Grievances and Jurisprudence Committees of the Grand Lodge and also served on its Long Range Planning Committee. He served on the Masonic Home Board from 2009 to 2013. If you would like to learn more about the past Grand Masters, we have discussed in this video. Information about many of those no longer with us is available on Find a Grave. There is also information at the library at Truman State University on the MissouriMasons.org webpage and on Wikipedia under the history of the Kirksville Masonic Temple. I thank you for watching this video.